Hey guys, I'm running a huge giveaway for Cyberpunk 2077, probably the most anticipated game of the year, I'm giving away a collector's edition box for any platform. If you'd like to enter, there'll be a link at the top of the video description and in the comment section down below. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, what is going on everybody? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Division 2 video. Now it's been a while since my last build video, but I think I've got a build together now that I'm uh, ready to show you guys. It's pretty decent in the raid, and it's a very interesting hybrid AR LMG build. Uh, but anyway, the winner from last video's Division 2 giveaway will be on screen right now. If you'd like to win a copy of the game, guys, I'm giving away a copy of Division 2 every single video this month. So feel free to leave a like on the video if you'd like to enter. Leave a comment down below and I'll pick a winner in my next video. With that being said as well, make sure you go enter that Cyberpunk giveaway, guys. It is running the whole time up until the launch of Cyberpunk. I'm super excited to cover it on the channel as well, so definitely go check it out. With that being said, enough talking, let's get into the video. So, this is going to be a quick as possible a build video showing my hybrid gunner AR LMG build. Now, it's sort of taking bits of my LMG build and the AR build I had and I've kind of just like merged them together and at first you're kind of looking at it like, yeah, that's not a lot of armor, that's not a lot of health. And you are correct in thinking that because uh, with this build you'll be extremely squishy. Um, but if you can get better pieces than I did, you can make this build a whole lot better. But I'm still working towards finishing it completely. But I keep getting questions every single day on Discord, Twitter, Willis, do you have any builds? What's the best build? All this good stuff. Um, so I thought I'd just show you my build, which I do the raid pretty much flawlessly with. And it works out a treat. So, uh, yeah, obviously, best AR in the game, the custom P416. Best LMG in the game, the classic M60. Now, let's take a look at my custom P416. So I always get questions as well. Well, it's how do I get a super high roll damage AR? And honestly, the best thing I can tell you is just, it's just luck. Like, obviously if you're not, uh, if you don't have mods on for AR, it's, your damage is gonna be lower. So make sure you have all your AR mods on because it's only gonna reflect on the damage shown here. Like. People keep saying like, oh, my AR's only rolled like 16k or 17k. Well, make sure, first of all, you are on, uh, or you have AR damage on, on your specialization tree. I wanted to show you this as well, too, before I even start showing you my setup. So I want to show you I'm using Gunner, the Gunner subtree. Now, I think Gunner is going to be the best tree so far for builds, just because of this right here, the large pouch. This gives you 50 extra bullets in your light machine gun, and that is actually amazing. Um, another cool thing, if you're not aware and you're just jumping back into the division um, for the new update, pretty much you are now able to have three weapons maxed on any specialization tree. So what I've done for this is I've maxed out my AR damage and I've maxed out my LMG damage. And obviously this is a hybrid build, so it's using both the AR and the light machine gun, so it's actually really awesome that you're able to do this now and you're not stuck to like survivalist or sharpshooter, you're now able to just go wild and it's pretty awesome. So um, the cool thing that makes Gunner really, really strong is the fact that it has this incessant thing. So when you get kills, it gives you 7% or 10% armor on kill when you have the full upgrade. And obviously with this build being very squishy, this is actually amazing. So this is going to heal you when you're getting kills. And this build is does a ton of damage. Um, another cool thing it has, every fifth reload is 50% faster. And the main thing being is the hardened armor kits. This is actually crazy. So armor kits repair 100% armor and grant 50% bonus armor for 10 seconds. That by itself, use this subclass because it's crazy. I haven't maxed mine out yet. I'm still in the process of doing it, but I've got all the main things I pretty much need for this build, which is, I guess, just one away from incessant. And obviously the two weapon upgrades they're the main things you need and obviously the large pouch um, but enough talking let's get into the build and I'll show you why I think this is a really awesome build so obviously ARs I love ARs I used to be a rifle user and I've just moved to ARs now they're just so much nicer to use so I'm using the custom P416 with 22.7k damage strained stability uh, we've got the holocyte for damage to elites we've got the uh, where is it the magazine that gives uh, 10 extra bullets 
I know there is a magazine that gives you plus 20, I am not lucky enough to get it yet, and I am not lucky enough to get the Eagle Bearer, because if I had the Eagle Bearer with this build, I would probably be using that instead of the custom P416. So if you have the Eagle Bearer, use it instead of this. Um, using Strained, because you'll see in a minute, but let's go over my uh, secondary weapon, which is the Classic M60. Now, for the longest time I was using the Chatterbox, and it was decent, it was fine, but it didn't have that sustained DPS I needed for the raid and I guess like DPS phases in the raid so um, I was kind of just putting my LMG on and while using survivalist and it kind of wasn't working out because I had like 22k damage on the LMG and now I have 33.6k um, on my M60 and I think that's pretty decent I've seen people get up to like 40k which is pretty nuts um, but I'm running unhinged and allegro for the attachments, obviously I'm using the uh, big large pouch for 50 extra bullets, so that's 150 bullets in my classic M60. I'm using the damage to elite scope, you can use accuracy or whatever you want. I'm using the uh, crit hit chance uh, laser sight, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go over the gear pieces now, so before I even mention anything, this is a crit sort of like full red build. So it's based around, I guess, just stacking as much reds as possible and yeah um i was gonna go for a mixture between health and armor and all that stuff but honestly if I, <laughs> i've got to that stage right now where i if i see armor and health on a piece of gear i just instantly dismantle it but yeah i know it's getting more viable to start using uh, health and armor so i'm definitely gonna incorporate into my uh, other builds and stuff but yeah let's go for the armor i'm using um and yeah start with the mask it is the wyvern wear mask uh, with 34% damage to elites, 10% uh, damage to elites with hard hitting as well. The chest piece, I'm using the uh, Fenris chest piece, group AB. Uh, this gives me 10% assault rifle damage. Um, I've also got 9% crit hit chance uh, and 12% weapon damage, which is actually pretty high. Um, I'm using Berserk and I'm using uh, Hazard Protection. If you can get hard hitting here, that would probably be the best. And I've actually got a really good mod. I'm using one offensive mod for 1.5% weapon damage and 3% uh, assault rifle damage. So this is actually pretty nice apart from the hazard protection. But hazard protection, still good. Um, the holster, I'm using a Wyvern Way holster. Uh, it's got 14.5% crit hit chance. It's also got devastating on it as well. And for the mod, I'm using 2.5% weapon damage and some other useless stats. Okay, so uh, I did originally have a different backpack I recorded in the video, but like I recorded the video and then like an hour later I played for a bit and I managed to get a god rolled Petrov backpack and this is obviously for my LMG. It gives 10% LMG damage. I've got 8.5% weapon damage which I rolled onto it. It came with health and 7% crit hit chance. Like hard hitting as well and efficient. Like god rolled backpack literally dropped like an hour after I finish my video. So you will see different stats when I do show my stat page at the end. Um, I'll probably have like lower um, damage to elite. So right now my damage to elite is 77 because of that backpack. And I think my weapon damage has increased by a crap ton on my LMG. So I got 34.8K damage on uh, my LMG as well. So just a little quick edit that I'm slipping in because I got an updated backpack, which I wanted to show you, uh, but yeah. Um, for the gloves, I'm using the Gila Guard gloves just because I have devastating and 10% assault rifle damage. Um, I've also got 8,400 health, which is pretty good as well. And obviously the um, one set Gila Guard, which is 5% total armor, so my armor isn't completely terrible. And I've got one utility mod on it as well. Then finishing up with the knee pads, we've got the three set to complete the Wyvern Way uh, for the 10% crit hit chance. And this also has 7.5% crit hit chance on it as well. And I've got 10% uh, to elites. A pretty decent offensive uh, mod as well. 1% uh, weapon damage, 3% pistol damage, and 4% LMG damage. So that's pretty beefy. That's pretty much all of my armor. Like I said, it's kind of based around just having a bunch of reds, I guess. Using Berserk for the assault rifle. Uh, devastating for that nice chunky damage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the build if you do try it out in the comment section down below. Um, it pretty much does like, yeah, a million damage, I guess, with each weapon, which is pretty good considering you are using two weapons and not focusing all of your, I guess, damage on one gun. So it does a lot of damage, uh, sustained damage with the LMG as well. 33.6K with a 
22.7k uh, assault rifle isn't that bad. I think that's pretty decent. So strained helps out a ton. So if you didn't know, you get 5% critical hit damage uh, for every 10% of your armor that is depleted, which is nuts. And obviously this pairs well with Berserk. 10% uh, weapon damage for every 20% of your max armor depleted. Um, let's go to my stats page here. I kind of took a hit ever since I switched to the uh, backpack. I lost quite a bit of uh, damage to elite. So um, here's all my weapon damage right here. As you can see, I got 50% crit hit chance, which is pretty decent. 32% crit hit damage, 55% headshot damage, zero accuracy, 15 stability, uh, weapon handling, all that good stuff. All weapon damage bonus, 29.5%. Um, assault Rifle damage bonus 38%, LMG damage bonus 29%, it's a nice decent balance there, all that good stuff here, and I'm pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much all the important stuff, but uh, yeah, definitely know if you try the build out guys, I've been using it a lot lately in the raid and it's been uh, really, really good, so what I normally do is I use the ARs and stuff for like ads, just killing the elite super quickly, and then uh, when we're on like DPS, shooting the uh, consoles and like the electronics and all that good stuff, I'll use the LMG. Or when we need just like sustained damage on uh, Lucy and Buddy as well, the LMG is extremely good. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to uh, max out your trees as well, um, if you are like me and you spend a bunch of money like you shouldn't on uh, apparel and all that good stuff, if you do have a ton of these, um, what are they call like apparel cash fragments, if you just buy a bunch of keys and open up these, you pretty much level up. So you level up your character and each time you level up, you'll get three points into your gunner. So it's actually a quick way to level up your gunner if you do uh, buy a lot of apparel stuff. But if you don't, the other quick way is just to do bounties. You get like three to five gunner points for each bounty. But hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely drop a like down below. Don't forget to get and enter that cyberpunk giveaway. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.